Hi, my sexy YouTubers. This is my second video I'm doing today. I'm very impressed. I hope you're enjoying them. And I'm always thinking of hot topics, taboo topics, and I have so many to share. But a lot of people have been asking me, how do I travel cross country, road tripping, flying with the dog, staying in Mexico for a year and a half? Are you interested in my sexy warrior pineapple express road trips and trips all around uh the world because romeo my dog and i we have lots of places we are going right now i'm in los angeles visiting family but i was in mexico for a year and a half uh during covid unexpectedly i was living in new york city i got rid of everything in california in 2016 and drove cross country with my dog one of the best trips ever and i should be writing a book on that no real agenda except I knew kind of where I wanted to go with Dude Ranch, Yellowstone, Chicago, South Dakota, um, Michigan, Detroit. I did Bend, Oregon. I did Idaho. I did and I took three months. I was in Chicago for five weeks. How did I do it? Luckily now we have the luxury of online apps and websites and all that. Before I used to use TripAdvisor. Now I use Hotel Tonight. I definitely look at booking. Um, I have been, you know, and then you get different points. Some people love, you know, Hopper's a new one that I've read, read, about, read about. There's so many. So I kind of like love the research part, knowing where, kind of manifesting where I want to go. Always checking weather. I love to travel when school's in, in, in session. I mean, it was different last year. I was in Mexico and didn't travel as much, but I still made the most of it because we have to make the most of it through even if we don't feel good. I had COVID for months. I need to talk about black mold and COVID and how our body can, you know, change dynamics, even like allergies, or if you're allergic to you know a certain smell and it's in your home and it's giving you headaches it's like sometimes we have to get out of that environment a home an office a relationship a friendship blah 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 a dog an animal i hate to say that because i love animals but um you know we have to look at our health too and our sanity like i love being here but then i just rented a beautiful i don't know if you could see a beautiful convertible bmw because i don't have a car because i'm able to not have a car payment and a house payment i go on these adventures and luckily i have family and friends who welcome me into their home and then i also loved hotel hopping and airbnbs if it's long term and the reason why I love hotel hopping is when it's in order, it's clean, it's when I have stuff around and clutter, like even when I'm staying here, it's like not my clutter, but I can't do clutter. It has to be in order. I have to be structured. I have to be like super organized to get shit done because a lot of things will interrupt my brain my ADD attention deficit brain. And if something is like right here and I'm trying to focus here, if a phone ring, if anything, it just interrupts it. So I've learned different copes and mechanisms and manifestations and mindfulness and yoga and stretching to relax my brain. Do you like my new nails? I could do a little, I can't, I have a little pineapple on my toe. Again, I told you it's pineapple express road trip. Um, and then I just did a road trip Again, research brings a whole different level, like manifesting to what kind of car you want. I wanted a convertible. I haven't driven a convertible in, you know, 15 years. And I'm like, I don't have a car. Let me enjoy it. And I researched this research. And honestly, the best prices I found my first one at ro Rodeo was on Turo. I loved it. I had this beautiful Mercedes uh, 2018. It drove like a freaking baby smooth. It was gorgeous. I took some sexy photos and it just brought me on this amazing trip through the Pacific on the Pacific Ocean PCH1 PC and like I did the up north. It was lovely. If you want to know more, I can write a book on it. I can make more YouTubes on it or videos. I also um, now just rented this new one and I'm going on another adventure up to San Francisco and Calistoga and it's going to be hot so I have to look into the fires and all that. But I also like always love to find these crazy roads and like I love to see like explore. It's like once in a lifetime to see. Like when you live in LA, you're stuck in traffic and then you get frustrated in your car instead of looking at it as this is a pride pride possession it's our little home it's our place to you know breathe and connect like i should be breathing right now 
So I don't want to keep you too long on these long YouTubes, but um, yeah, I have so much to share about my journey and stories. I want to hear your road trips. Can you road trip by yourself? People say, oh, you have these like anxiety and I'm like, I have anxiety, but it's also an OCD of like, like gnawing you, gnawing you. But if I know what I'm doing and I'm structured and I'm, you know, feeling good, like I just drove the car around the block a couple times, like different streets I know in the neighborhood because I'm like, I gotta get to know this car before I get on the freeway tomorrow, before I, so manifestation. Tonight I am going to organize and write some of my outline for my MOT, Masturbation Orgasm Tracker uh, book, and it's gonna be a sexual health, a sex education, confidence, learning to love your true authentic sexual self so i hope you have a sexy day don't forget to subscribe like comment share and i want to hear your solo road trips with or without a dog and uh yeah i want to hear your tips and tricks to make the best way to like live on the road and be a sexy warrior nomad digital nomad now so love you sexy ones bye guys